process. Well, let's go back to the first part of that question. The first part of the question is really an important crux to this. The employees have the right, as long as they're not personally attacking Wendy on a personal basis over non-work-related issues, then then they could be disciplined for that. And that could be considered, in, 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 in a way, disloyal to the company. But having to do with hours, wages, working conditions, any condition that directly affects these professionals, they have the right to demonstrate, bring to the light of the public, and make comment on that situation. And that's what they've done. Uh, Mr. Capello said there was nothing on the banner that said this was a union activity. It, was it, is it implied based on what had happened up until that point a week ago Friday that this was a union action? Well, first of all, the photo wasn't the only banner that was up and the only sign that was up. There were others saying we were protesting the illegal firing of Anna Davidson. We stated that in the media and on the press. But the fact was that from September 5th, and leading up to September 5th, we told this community that we were going to ask for cancellations of subscription unless the company met with the employees and worked out these issues. That campaign has been central to our campaign, the union, from day one. So we don't feel, and since he's not a labor lawyer, we feel he's made a serious and grave error in that area, and we have plenty of cases and history to back that situation up. They have, in fact, engaged in legal activity, and it will be proven shortly because the Labor Board has taken statements from almost all of them now. Everyone, yes? Everyone. <laughs>